subscribe for tech talks and hit the bell icon to get notifications about coolest and latest engineering technology in the first place in this session we will start where we have left the open loop uh, bpf control so this was the our open loop bpf control and uh, we will be doing the closed loop bpf control for doing closed loop bpf control as you could see in this figure that uh, even you require a speed sensor uh, which will measure the speed now the speed will be subtracted from Uh, your reference speed the error will be going through a uh, pi controller so at this point you will be getting a torque okay the required torque that is the demanded torque by the motor now this demanded torque is uh, connected with omega slip uh, with a constant okay so this this is uh, one of the most important part so when you uh, uh, provide a constant over here it will give you slip okay so that constant has to be uh, uh, given by a, a limiter now when you are uh, uh, going to give the slip and from here you are going to give the uh, measured speed so this two adds up to provide you the synchronous speed now when you get the synchronous speed then the synchronous speed will be going to your inverted pulse inverter pulses uh, inverter gate pulse as the as as the op open loop bpf in open loop bpf you are getting we are only we have done only this part okay uh, this part but now we will be incorporating this part also so let us see how we will be doing this one so this is our open loop bpf we have given frequency and then a limiter and then everything else uh, same way now first we will be tracking out the speed so for tracking out the speed we will go to this uh, continuous uh, we require this one this uh, output okay so it is found over signal in signal routing so this two that is from and go to this two this two you take it uh this two is needed so one has to be connected over here you have to name it omega r or w r whatever you uh, want to give so this will be connected to the rotor speed okay and then the same thing we have taken uh the uh, from part is this we have taken and here we have put the same name so that it is tracked okay and now the next thing is that we will put some uh, reference speed so this is our reference speed speed reference So this reference speed is subtracted from the original speed and then it goes to the PI controller so the value of the PI controller depends on J and B of the motor okay what is J and B of the motor that is uh this two values that J and F inertia and friction factor it depends on these two values okay the uh, pi value of the pi controller so for this motor i have calculated the pi controller value is uh, uh, 930 and integral controller is almost very small so i have given a very small value over here now 
this is to be connected over with a constant because you see here that after pi controller whatever you get it should be multiplied with a constant because here you are getting torque now this torque has to be uh, multiplied with a constant to get omega slip so here you are getting torque multiplying it with a constant giving some limiter and then you are getting omega slip okay so uh, this is the uh, constant for this machine I have calculated that it is uh, uh, of this value that is 1 divided by 4.89 by 4 okay, now it is it will go through a uh, slip so I have given this slip of much larger value you can give your own calculated values okay now this slip so here it is the uh, slip speed this line is the slip speed now this slip speed that is uh, slip speed that is required demanded by the motor now this slip speed when it is added up with the uh, speed of the motor then here you will be getting the synchronous speed okay that is omega s now this omega s when it is divided by 1 by 2 pi that means you are getting here the uh, uh, required frequency so we will just replace it here in open loop part we will put it here ok now since uh, this uh, speed reference we have given it what the at initial value is 50 and at 0 0.6 uh, step time the value will be 150 and we will see that if the uh, motor tracks this value or not okay so for smooth functioning of this one we will just add a filter this is uh, not mandatory you can add it uh, for safety of the drive and for your requirement so I have just added one uh, LPF low pass filter over here okay. and uh, then I will track that what speed it comes that I will put a scope over here so the upper part is the reference speed and the lower part is the actual speed of the motor okay now I will uh, play it uh, uh, run this uh, model So it is running it is uh, 0 0.379 0 0.4 seconds so uh, let us see what happens okay it is running fine you see we have given 50 right for the first one here the reference value if you see that the initial value was 50 and the final value was 150 okay now see how the motor is behaving so when we have given the value 50 the motor have reached the speed of 50 okay and when we have given 150 the motor has also reached the speed of 150 right so this speed uh, is in radian per second make mechanical speed in radian per second this speed is in radian per second make a mechanical uh, so if you want to change you can also put this uh, do this calculation using electrical speed for that you have to just multiply uh, p by 2 in this path and p by 2 in this path and the other uh, values it will follow now this uh, pi value this pi value whatever i have given over here this depends as i have told on j that the inertia and the uh, B J B of the motor that is these two values 
J and F that is inertia and friction factor okay and so let us see how it looks so this is our uh, motor speed now uh, you can even uh, fine tune this uh, values also this pi values also according to your uh, program according to your calculation you can fine tune this also the value of this one depends on the voltage the phase voltage over here and some other constant uh, for more details you can follow my earlier video the links are given in the description box for better understanding okay uh, so thank you for now comment below about how you like this video check out the links in the description box about more such videos do click the like button if you like the video if you are new to this channel subscribe tech talks and don't forget to hit the bell icon